Okay guys, we are back. We are back. This is uh day two, part two of um Bronicon 2013. So when we left off, we just got to the Doctor Who's Adventures panel. Unfortunately, we are not able to, in a sense, get in. So we have Kiko and Guy Kaiko and Gilly behind us. Honest DS, trying to get some puzzle pieces, as he says. And here he is, just trying so hard to get this puzzle piece, and trying to get inside. Now, I'm getting as close to the door as possible, whilst creating a lane for people to get in and out. I do see, however, the first minute or so of the first animatic of the first episode of Doctor Who's Adventures, and I have to say, from what I saw there, compared to what I saw before in the little preview, it's come a long way. Now, that's when, that, unfortunately, is when a staffer comes in and says, guys, the room's too crowded, a lot of people thought that maybe they didn't, um, they didn't plan ahead and get everyone out from the, uh, from the conversion from the Conversion Bureau panel, and they didn't really open the doors for us. So the only thing that the staff guy can tell us is, unfortunately, you're going to have to move on. You can't come in here because there's too many people. We're already breaking like three fire, fire codes, apparently, um, and you're going to have to move on. Now. Unfortunately, that was a bit of a letdown, but I took it. I said, you know what? Whatever. Uh, if, if we have to move on, then we're going to have to move on. Now, if what happened didn't occur, I'd probably say, let's go to that um, Brony Pony Power Hour thing, or at least catch the last few minutes of the masquerade. But what, but what happened was this. What happened was this. With a lot of other people, I said, hey, Kaiko, they're not letting us in. Apparently the room's too filled. And he's like, oh, that's, oh, that's horrible. How about we go down to the dealer's hole? Anybody want to join? And my sister and I just go, um, okay. So, without my dad knowing, basically, my sister and I go with Kaiko and his group and his sister, and we all go downstairs to the dealer's hole. And we make an entire adventure about it. We find Fenning. We find Omni Pony. We got Pony One Kenobi. We found, um... I ran into Lee Tokar. Alright? I ran into Lee Tokar. Lee Tokar was just walking down there. He passes me and I'm like, Is that Lee Tokar? And he's like, Hey man, what's up? And I'm like, Uh, okay. Now, I didn't say this because I was pretty much running through Burn Palooza, but... Oh my god, I got to, really, the first uh, voice actor that I got to see at the convention was not Lee Tokar, but it was actually Miss Jill Creeper who did the whole, uh, Brony Palooza. She performed a Brony Palooza with Black Griffin, she performed a few of her songs, and, hey, the first live, uh, Beat It, really, the first live performance of Beat It with both singers this time. Not just Michelle and, you know, Speedy and Stretch and her family, um, but with freaking Black Griffin there this time. So, yes, yeah, so, uh. Anyway, uh, moving on from that. Going on, we got, we ran, run into Lee Tilker, we run into a few more people, um, and I said we were running the Fenning and Omnipony because of this. Somehow, uh, Kaiko says something about um, crowd surfing, or someone says something about crowd surfing to Kaiko, and I say, oh, you better talk to my, the microphone about that because, because I'm re remembering that he actually got to crowd surf at Bronicon 2012 summer. And he's like, Mike the Micro oh, we got to find Mike the Microphone! And I'm like, um, okay, let's go to Musicians, man. Let's go to the Musicians of Ponyville, uh, booth. And we go to there, and we don't see Mike there, even though I saw him on day one. 
at that panel, at that booth. But we got to see Fleming there and Omnipony, and he got stuff from them. Um, and we go around a little bit more, and we got a freaking picture with him, with the entire group. It is on his Tumblr page. Just find him on, uh, I forget his sister's Tumblr page, but his, his page is definitely, uh, Kaikong Gilly. So maybe he could say, hey, everyone who went to BurmanCon with me, here are the pictures. So, yeah. I got to hang out with Kaikong Gilly. I got a signature from Kaikong Gilly, and I got to hang out with him. Oh my god! Alright, so I'm, I'm putting this on now. I, I'm keeping this on. So, after that, we looked at the pamphlet, and we went to the voice actors panel. We got to see a bit of the voice actors panel, we got to see everyone who was there from the show, until it was only Maddie and uh, Michelle, when it was those two, two-thirds of the Crusaders, maybe... Five sixth because five sixth of the Crusaders because Michelle also does the singing voice Sweebo. Because of that, you know, we suddenly said we gotta move on. So unfortunately, we had to move on. Um. So then we had to wait, and we had to get actually we actually had to get good seats for. Uh, I can't believe it's not Ponies the Anthology three. Now, the Doctor Who's Adventures panel that we couldn't get into was in the Hall of Dawn. The Hall of the Dawn. The PTA 3 panel was in the Hall of the Sun. We got there. There was a long line for that panel. And I pass one of the, guard, one of the security members there on the staff. And they say, to those waiting in line, please move on because you don't have enough... Because we have not enough room now, so sorry, gotta move on. So we missed that! We missed two things that day that I wanted to go to because the room was too filled. I don't know, was Broning Pony Power Hour that huge? Really? I mean, it had enough time to file out this time, but whatever. Uh, along with that, we have Ponies and Pantones? Pantones? I don't know. And Pony themed Minecraft. But the one panel that we went to, sort of as a filler, I guess? Hell hath no hoagie. This is an amazing uh, cartoon series uh, by the great minds of LTT Moose and Joe Stevens and Final Draft. Most of the guys that I actually got to meet. And with the voice actors as well. Freaking, I got to finally meet, I finally got to meet Solrak and Ailimanti. And for proof, there they are. Solrak on the top, Ailimanti on the bottom. There you go, that's their signatures. And then, and I was the one who asked most of the questions, like, can we see LTT and, uh, no. Can we see Mason and Tech Rat in there on the show? Where is, where, where does Solrak actually come from? Uh, Cables, please, for Final Draft. It's the second time I said that. And Solrak, what is up with your Solrak ventures? You've only done one. Come on. Um, and also, and just praise to all of them, really. Um... After that, actually, um, after that we left, and, uh, this was all during, the last few minutes were actually during the cosplay contest, the cosplay costume cost, the cosplay costume contest. Why is that such hard, why is that a hard thing to say? Um, but then after that, it was like, I didn't really want to see anything, so we went off, we got, di we got dinner, we took a break. And we waited for Brewing Palooza. But while we waited, uh, we had How to Draw Ponies, Ponyverse, Building a Super Community, Fan Fix in Print, how to, how to Get It Done, Ask a Brony Psychologist, Journey of the Spark, Pegasisters Live, Chatterbox Takeover, Chatty Box Takeover, sorry, Cosplay Help, and So I Raise a Teenage Brony. We got about five minutes left on this part. This could be the end of day two. Running Palooza then happened, and once again, huge line. 
For those wondering how I survived this line, I just stayed in line and waited. I talked to some people. I might have actually seen Flamingo Rich if he was there. Creator of Double Rainbow. Um, and how did we entertain ourselves while we were waiting in line? We bro us. Not, not just the chance, but the bro us. Literally, complete bro us. Just going from uh, one end of the line to the next one. So, like, I'm here. The line over on my right. So, let's say that I'm right here. And I'm moving this way. And then back this way. I'm here, and the guy on my right is the, the line the line on the right is moving up, up, up. And then we decided, you know, what would be cool? Bro hoofs down the line. So we're waiting in line, boom, 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 boom. Everyone on the on the right coming down here. New people on the left, I'm getting everyone on the left. And then it's our turn to move. So we go boom, 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 turn. Boom, 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 turn. Stuff like that. It wasn't that small, though. Um, I got a lot of bro hoofs, basically. And we got in there. We got in there for Pony Stock Night 2. Uh, Pony Stock? No. Brody Blues Night 2. And I got there. I saw... Jeez. Uh, Who did I see? I got to see... You know, I got to see Pony 1 Kenobi. I saw Tarby replace her. Feather. Meta Joker. A lot of guys, really. I got to see most of these guys who were actually on the list at the beginning. Um, and then suddenly, my, and then suddenly, you know, as we're moving up to the front of the, as we're moving up to the front of the crowd, I look to my left, and I see this guy in a white hat and a white suit, this, this black dude on, I'm gonna say this, uh, okay, that was his skin color, right? A black dude, I'm just gonna say that, because that was his skin color. I'm not... That, with white hat and a white jacket, and an OC pony that looked so familiar. Blue pony, bowl cap, a uh, bowl cut hair, bowl cut hair, like Ian, like Ian e. Cox from Smosh. Half eye, just I don't want to be here look, and a cutie mark of the smiley face, the smiley face meme, but with a gun pointed to the head. But that was for the cutie mark. And I look, and I yell across the way, that OC, my friend, I know that from one place and one place only, and that is animated James. And the dude just says, yeah, I'm him. And I'm like, oh my god. For those who don't know, Anime Dreams is the creator of... Uh, oh, okay, okay, I got two minutes to explain. He is the creator of the series, uh, of the My Little Pony vs. Sonic the Hedgehog series. You know, Sonic vs. Rainbow Dash, uh, Amy vs. Pinkie Pie, uh, Tails vs. Twilight Sparkle, and the upcoming, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but the upcoming Knuckles vs. Applejack. I got word, that's the next one, guys. The upcoming, up, the upcoming Applejack versus Knuckles. And, of course, the guy who made the awesome Tropical Octave animation. Um, and that would just be... That was basically the most amazing thing of the night. I got to talk to him about some, some ponies, you know, what's basically a little bit weird about this fandom. Got to know where he comes from. He comes from New York City, apparently. And I got, and when we left, we you know, changed name, we got on first name basis, and left. Well, and I left, knowing that I would see him later the next morning. And on the trip home, on the trip to the hotel, I ran into the Friendship of Witchcraft guys outside of the, outside of the party, Brony Palooza. And while telling people on the street, Mike the Microphone is coming on stage, is on stage right now, I pass by Chaotic Run, which is going to be a, a, an amazing thing by the end of this. So, a big, a big part of the story by the end of this. So, that's it for day two. I'll see you guys for day three, part one.